sitting in the back is the uh, airplane, which was in the hangar at the time. And with a windy day like this, uh, Dale has the tractor there, kind of hitched up to it so it doesn't blow away on this very windy day. And the, the contents of the hangar itself ended up flying north across the road. And we'll look at that in just a moment. And the surprising thing right next to it was a travel trailer sitting here. number of uh, damage from evergreens that uh, topple over. This one here snapped right in half off of this one here. A number of uh, evergreens here in the yard snapped or uprooted. What time of the night did this happen last night? Uh, it was between 9.30 and 10 o'clock at some point, I don't know exactly. And all the trees uh, start coming down at one time, or how did that, uh, how was the sequence? Yeah, we don't know for sure. We heard one big crash, and there's these three things that hit the house, so I don't know if they all happened just simultaneously or what. But a lot of damage to the house, or don't you know at this 
point. Any other damage with any other property that you know of? Yeah, there's a Quonset in my grandparents' yard that uh, is off the foundation and moved and laying on a sprayer. And uh, we got an auger tipped over. Many trees down, windmill down. And, uh, I don't know, we have other stuff to I guess. What would you say it is, Sam? Uh, you think it was a twister or was it straight line winds last night? I only see evidence of things moving north. The only thing pointing south is the tree we pulled south away from the house. So that's kind of evident of straight line winds then? It appears that way at this point. So. Okay, well thank you. We have Gordy Mayer here and uh, we just looked at your, where your trees were and wow, that was something last night. Yes, it was. It was unbelievable, Rick. It just, we, well, we, those are the size. They're about 35 feet, I, I'm guessing they were. Uh, I planted those in 1982, Grandpa Crone and I. And they were like that. My wife always said, how are they ever going to grow? <laughs> and that's what they turned out to be. And we lost them both today. Well, tell us how that went last night. Well, it was actually this morning that they went. They didn't go last night. Okay. They, they went this morning. It just, the ground just got so saturated around them. And just, with the wind, it just, it just, the slow fall. And then this one, we had a cut but before it. It was starting to go, and the ground was giving away, and we just had to had to cut it, take it down, and forfeit the tree. All right, so really no property damage other than Actually, the trees. Actually, we dropped them into the alley. Okay. They both fell into the alley. There was absolutely not a thing hurt. It. Well, Keith's garden got a little banged up, but other than that, it was nothing. Nothing, no damage to buildings or vehicles or anything. It was just just the loss of two nice trees. Alright, well, at least no one got hurt, so that's exactly right. Alright, thank you, Gordy. Yep. 